Okay, so this is going to be just a quick way to kind of enhance your site if you've got a lot of anchor links. First of all, uh, if you're watching this, you probably know, but an anchor link is something that uh, these links link to somewhere else on this page. Okay, so like here's bill payment, right? This is some bank's website. Uh, it was just easy to take it. All right, so like if we go to view and pay bills, uh, it jumps to view and pay bills. Uh, it sends, it, it basically puts this hash, it's called, up here, up at the top, a pound, a11 underscore one, and if we inspect this element to see what it is, there's an a tag right here, see this, a name, that matches that, only without the, without the pound sign, okay, and that's how it works, and there, it's really great, but uh, let's enhance it with uh, some jQuery, some very small jQuery, to make it so every link on the page that is supposed to jump will actually scroll to that link. Moreover, we're also going to do it so that if I load the page with A11, right now if I do that, it jumps right here. We're going to make it so it scrolls here as soon as you load the page. Okay? So uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. First of all, here's the code. Again, I just copied it from a bank website. Nothing big. Okay? We're going to need two libraries for this. We're going to need jQuery, paste that in, and then we're also going to need jQuery easing. Because um, we're gonna e we're gonna we're gonna need some awesome easing. Basically, easing the the easing plugin is just some math functions uh, to make you know sliding easing. See, it's a relative URL. It doesn't start with HTTP. So we're gonna copy that, paste, and then we're actually gonna copy this because we need that because <laughs> that's where it's from. I'm hot linking them. When you do this, don't do this. Download it. Okay, I'm hot linking. Now that we've got that, we're gonna open our script tags script and then we are going to open a function we're gonna do this when page loads okay now let's go through the things that we're gonna do first we're gonna catch all clicks all clicks on a tags okay then we're going to uh, check if it has a hash okay if it doesn't have a hash then it won't go. So for example, back here, um, I've got this Google link way up here in the corner just to just to show that because these, these are all hashes, but this one's not. So we're make we're gonna make sure that our plugin, uh, well not really a plugin, our, that our code doesn't affect that Google. Okay. So check if it's a hash, and then we're gonna because the name the a name doesn't have the pound sign. We need to get rid of the to get rid of the pound sign. So get rid of the pound sign. Okay, and then uh, we're going to basically uh, get the position of the a name element, and then we're going to scroll to that. Well, actually, let's say scroll animate to that element, right? And then we're going to uh, basically at the end, you're going to return false, which is going to be um, you know don't don't do the jump because that that's really the last step of this okay and then that's all that we want to do for that part okay that's all that we're gonna do for the click and we'll you know we'll get to the rest of that later so first let's catch all clicks so we're gonna grab all a's dot click and that's gonna be a function okay so we've caught all that so now all this is gonna go inside of here okay so step one check if it's got a hash so to check if it's got a hash, what we have to do is first let's, uh, this would be the A tag itself, the DOM element, not the jQuery element. And, and the DOM element has a property called hash. So let's console.log this.hash for a second and see what we get. So if I refresh this page, okay, and let me go to the top here. Okay, if I click on this, it says it's A3, okay, and that's perfect. Now if I click on the Google it said an empty string and now it went to Google. So that's that's good. I want that to happen. I was able to see that it's got empty. So let's actually return false here for a second. Um, don't do the jump. Let's do that step now because I'm tired of this jumping around. So let's uh, go to the top here. Now, if I click on view activity, it doesn't do anything. It says A3. If I click on Google, it doesn't do anything, but it says empty string, which is perfect because that means we can test for this. Okay? So we're going to say if this.hash. Okay, then do the rest of this stuff. Okay, and the rest of this stuff will be, again, we don't want to return false if it's not a hash. So now we're going to do that. So now we've put all of our steps inside of the hash. Now the whole point of that is if it's not a hash, it will go. So when I click on Google, it should go, which it does. And when I click on this, it shouldn't do anything, 
which is perfect. Okay, great. So now we now we have to get rid of the pound sign. Well, the easiest way to do that, we're going to store in a new variable called hash, and that's going to be equal to this dot hash, which is right now with the ha with the pound sign, and we're just going to do dot uh, sub str one, and that should give us the exact string without the hash. Uh, missing var hash equals that. Refresh. Now when I click this, a4. It was pound a4. Again, that's very important because the a name doesn't have the pound sign. Okay? So there we've got our hash. Now uh, get the position of the a name. Okay? So all we're going to do is we're going to store the two element, right? Now the reason, again, that I always do, the reason I have this dollar sign is because this is going to be a jQuery element. That just signifies that it's a jQuery element. It means nothing else. Okay? So we're going to grab the a tag with the attribute name that equals plus the hash. Plus, quote, end that, boom, put it back. Nope, nope. There we go. Okay. So this is an attribute selector. We're grabbing all A tags that have the name equal to whatever this variable is. Again, this variable is that hash without the pound sign. Now we need the position of that element. So we're going to say var to position. And that's going to be equal to the to element dot position, which is a function dot uh, top. Okay. And that's going to be the, the number of pixels it is from the top. Okay. I'm not going to show you that because it just it, it works. Okay, this is all jQuery right here. So now we've got the two position. So now we need to scroll and animate to that element. Okay. Now there's a trick here. The trick is that you need to scroll both the body and the HTML. You can't just do one or the other. You have to do both. Okay, that's the trick. Now we're going to do dot animate. Okay, and in the animate we have these uh, brackets. And then in the last two things here, we'll do the brackets in a second. We've got the duration, which I'm going to do 2,000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. And then we're going to use uh, an easing from that easing plugin, the whole reason we have this. And that's going to be ease out expo, expo for exponential. Basically, it's going to let it smoothly come to an end. It's going to kind of like that. It's going to be really nice. you like it. Okay, now inside of the animate part, we need to animate... Um, we need to animate the page. So uh, both of these, body and HTML, have a property. And that property is called scroll top. That property determines uh, where the scroll of the page is. So we're going to say that equals that to position that we got earlier, right? So all we're doing is we're animating over 2,000 milliseconds the scroll top of the body and the HTML to the to position. And we're going to do it exponentially out. Yep, can't have a semicolon. Not supposed to have a semicolon. Refresh. Okay. So now if I click on sort account activity, you beautiful. Okay? So we have one minute left. Let's do the last part. Basically what we need to do is catch when the page loads. So uh, the, the to get the hash of the page, so say we want to load uh, this guy, um, which would be, uh, let's see, that would be pound a27 underscore one, right? So we want to load pound a27 underscore one. That's the one we're going to want to load. If I load it right now in a new page, because it only does it on the page, it uh, doesn't do it, which is awesome. So I must have typed it in wrong. Let's do a39. That'll be a lot easier. a39. Okay. So if we load a39 into a new page, it should jump to a39. Right there, a39. Great. So what we want to do is instead of that, okay, we need to... Location.hash will give us that A39. Okay, that's what's going to happen. So we're going to test for that first. So if location.hash, then what we're going to do is we're going to say the var hash. We have to store the hash because if we don't store it, we're, you'll see in a second, it's going to not be correct. So location.hash, so store that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll. You can't stop it from doing it. So we're going to scroll it back to 00, zero ourselves. Okay? It's not going to scroll in terms of animate. It's just going to jump back to 00. zero. Then we're going to grab the A tag that has an href matching that pound, that hash. Now, again, that hash has a pound sign, which is great. And that's exactly what we want. That will give us basically the A element that we were clicking on before. Because of that, we can actually just invoke our click, and then it'll do it. Again, we want to return false. No, that we don't want to return false because it's not going to do anything. Okay? There you go. Of course, this piece of code can't be inside of the click itself. It has to be outside the click, but still inside of the document.ready. Save that, open this up in a new page, and scroll right to that bottom.